hello 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 oh hey you guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys my sam's like my large sam's grocery haul um it's not as big as a lot of people but this for me is large um and so i'm going to show you guys what i did today is actually friday because i am off so i decided to go and do this grocery haul so i can see what i can find at sam's club and then adjust my heb grocery haul which i also think that i might end up doing a walmart grocery haul as well too i'm just trying to stock up and make sure we have everything because we are out on a lot of things so let me show you guys what i got at sam's club so this was everything that i got at sam's club y'all it came out to 159 dollars and some change um and it's really not a lot of stuff but for me it is huge because my freezer is small and those two bags back there are going to take up everything okay so let me show you guys what i got so I picked up some wings. I'm actually going to be doing wings for a meal prep this week. You guys are going to be seeing um, maybe some repetitive meals for meal prep um, for a little bit, um, just until I get it into a swing of things. And then I also picked up some chicken breast tenderloins because last month they did not have any. So I made sure to grab a bag and these two bags will not get used up for the month of May. So these will actually roll over for June. So I won't have to buy these in June. Then I saw that Sam's Club carries um, Kerrygold butter, which I am so happy about. This was actually like $8 and some change, and I spend $4 for just a small pack, and I think this has six four ounces, so I can appreciate it. I did, oh, I just started my last um, pack of Kerrygold butter, so this came in perfect. I got some sour cream because we are all out and I'm going to be doing tacos and um, different things that we will need sour cream for. So starting to stock back up on sour cream again. I got some avocados from there. These are like the perfect size. I'm going to be using them with dinners today. I mean, not today, but for meal prep this week. I got some whole almonds because we are all out of almonds and this is what i snack on during the week while i'm at work i got these santa fe style salads this was two for about five dollars and 34 cents and i'm actually gonna have one for lunch today i actually found some real yellow bananas y'all so i got some and i'm actually gonna have one of these as well too i've been craving for some bananas i got a three pack of bacon they did not um, have any of the like healthier bacon that I bought last month. I know it said it was limited, but my gosh, it didn't even last a month. Um, <laughs> but so got my husband some bacon. This is not the healthiest bacon we normally will or I will normally get uncured bacon because that is better. But for right now, this is just what works. This was a household item. But this was um, some Airwick. They were actually like $5 cheaper than Glade. And I was thinking about switching to Glade. So it won't be this month that I do that. But I picked up two to go ahead and restock um, and refill the ones in our home. I know my husband is going to be so happy when he sees this, you guys. But these were plums. And I saw them and I did not even second guess. I went and picked them up. I will be able to enjoy some and so will my husband. He loves plums. And I think that's, oh, just kidding. Last but not least, I went and picked up some more butterfly shrimp. So um, this is has two bags inside. So this will be sort of kind of for... Um, like dinners in the evening on like Friday or Saturday. This is perfect. And then we also have some like chicken bites in the freezer already. So this was everything that I got you guys at Sam's Club. And I did just want to show you guys because whenever I do this haul, it's going to be a big haul. I'm pretty sure I'm already going to be over my budget. But let me show you guys how dirty my pantry is. This 
is my pantry, y'all. It is terrible in here, and I need to go ahead and clean this all up because a lot of this is trash. Y'all see those bananas over there? They were green, and they're supposed to turn yellow. Instead, they're turning black. Um, and then these cereals up here are from four months ago when I was pregnant and not even that short of a time because I wasn't even eating cereal my last trimester. Um, so I'm also going to clean this up and show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. But this gives me an idea also of what I need to purchase at HEB and potentially Walmart to go ahead and get this looking like a low carb slash no grains and no sugar pantry because there shouldn't be much in there. It should be filled up or our fridge and our freezer should be filled up. So stay tuned for that. And then I'll show you guys what I got from HEB and or Walmart. Next. So I am back. I just came back from getting my H-E-B grocery pickup. So I did just want to show you guys what my pantry looks like now since cleaning it. So this is just what it looks like, you guys. It is not like Pinterest ready, but it is definitely a lot cleaner from what you guys saw. Um, so just to kind of show you how I have everything organized, this over here is just pretty much all of like our nuts and fruits and things of that sort. Um, this just has all of like my unsweetened applesauce and a bag of almonds in there. This just has like any of our like tuna creations or like packets of like McCormick fajita mix or tacos. And then this is like our carby stuff. So I just have some corn meal um, some sugar some breadcrumbs and then I think it's flour in the back so these are just things I like to keep on hand although we don't use this really at all and then I just have some low carb tortillas down here I just have like all of our seasonings oils um, vinegar Pedialyte for baby girl and then all of our canned goods and sauces back here we just have some formula behind the formula is just some beans and rice and pasta and those things stay on hand for if there's ever like a little catastrophe or something like that we have some stuff and then in the back is just some like special formula so baby girl drinks pure amino acid formula and then we mix it with her Similac Alimentum we also have a case down there that our pediatrician gave us um, and then that is just some more electrolyte water we have our toilet paper we have some water here. I have like my AHA drinks, some more household stuff. Um, and here, these are just random things that are just gonna stay there. I need to stock back up on Baby Girl's formula. We have a box from Amazon that I just need to pack. And then up here, we just have our paper towels, um, like zip lock bags and stuff like that. And then just some like, things for your body um, that um, doesn't fit in the cabinet. So um, that is what it looks like. It's not, like I said, Pinterest ready, but it is definitely all cleaned up and looking so much better. So let me show you guys what I got from HEB. So this is everything from HEB, you guys. I spent about 85 or 86 dollars so let me show you guys what i got back here i wanted to just get two bags of popcorn but they didn't have any so i got this big pack bag of popcorn and it's just a mixture of different popcorns um it is low on carbs so that's good i got some more electrolyte water i got some more cups i didn't want to get these dixie cups but they did not have the like heb brand uh available i picked up some purified baby water for our sterilizer i got some champagne for me to enjoy for mother's day tomorrow and then i just got some red wine i got some sweet and sassy trail mix and then orange juice for the mimosa to go with the champagne i got some color pepper and onion strips and some two and two cauliflower cauliflower rice because i am going to be doing i'll remember what it is beef stir fry 
Um, I was trying to get the rice cauliflower at Sam's Club. However, they did not have any. So I ended up just only buying two for this meal. And then next week, I'll buy more. I picked up some peanut butter. Um, and this was like the closest or the best I could find um, for carbs and sugar. So this is four grams of carbs. And there are no like added preservatives or preservatives y'all know what I mean, um, or anything like that, and no added sugar. So I got some of this because peanut butter is super good, especially when you're having chocolate cravings. Um, and I got some apples to go with it. I also picked up some strawberries. This is the stew beef to make the beef stir fry. I got one and a half dozen eggs. I picked up some Worcestershire sauce. I also picked up some more honey. I got some, I got two garlic powders and two onion powders because these normally finish very quickly. And then these are just some household stuff. So I got a fridge and freezer arm and hammer to put in my fridge. And then I got this extra strength carpet odor eliminator. We haven't had some for a while and I kept telling myself I would buy some and never got to. So I just picked that up and those were just like $2 out of the whole thing. So this was everything I got you guys. I have my meat. Um, well, I have this meat here, but then I have my wings defrosting because i'm doing wings and beef stir fry for meal plan today so i'm going to show you guys what i do because i'm actually going to cook it today on saturday so that i do not have to worry about doing anything for mother's day tomorrow so stay tuned for that so here is my seasoned meat this is the wings and this is the stew beef it already came cut up and it is the perfect size for what I want it to do. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge. It is currently 12.40 and I'm actually a little tired right now. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and take a nap. And when I wake up, I'll go ahead and cook these so that they can cool down in the evening and then I can put them away for the remainder of the week. Here is the beef and the onions and bell peppers cooking over here. The cauliflower rice is pretty much done. And then over here is the wings and I'm gonna put them back in. They still have about 19 minutes left and they're both just in here. So uh, it is a little bit later than what I had planned. It is 6.37, but this is actually super easy and it's almost done and I will have succeeded at not cooking for Mother's Day. All right, you guys, so here is meal prep for the week. I did it, y'all. I got it done. It's Saturday, and it is now 8.30, um, and I was able to feed baby girl, change her up, get her to bed, and finish all of this. So, so proud of myself. So, I have um, two meals because it's me and my husband, so... Um, this is like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. My husband eats out and then we I may take this or whatever the case is. But we have everything that we need in terms of lunch slash dinner. And then um, I make breakfast in the morning. And then we have like our different snacks, so almonds and things of that sort. So this is cauliflower rice with... Um, peppers and onions and beef stew. And then this is just wings that I put into the air fryer. My husband likes to have it with like Korean barbecue sauce or habanero sauce or hot sauce. So I'll make sure that I pack it whenever. And then for these meals, I will be cutting an avocado each day to bring with it because if i cut it now then it like gets brown and stuff like that so this is my meal prep you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next week for another grocery haul and meal prep